guys, one more English video. Yes, and I'm here today to talk about false friends. Oh gosh, false friends. Yes, but first, are you part of this family? To be part of this family here, this channel, you just need to click on these red letters right here. I don't know where. And that's it. It's done. All right, so let's talk about it. Okay, to start, what is a false friend? What is the definition of this word, guys? Do you know? Yeah, false friends are the words that usually came from Latin, okay? Latin. And um, in many languages, they can appear with similar, similar or equal orthography, okay? So, sometimes they help us, but only sometimes, not always, right? This is the truth. So, the first thing you need to know, the first thing you need to understand is they have got the same origin, all right? They are words that usually came from Latin, yes? So I have another question for you now, a second question. Why are they false? Why are they false friends? Why? What's the reason? Do you know? So even though these words have got the same origin, even though they have got similar or equal orthography, by the time, because of many reasons, of course, they acquired different meanings. Okay, so by the time these words acquired because of many and different reasons, different meanings. All right, so maybe you're gonna find two words like in English and in Portuguese, they have a similar orthography but because of some reasons, they acquired different meanings, okay? Even though they are similar, they have got different meanings. So, what I'm trying to tell you guys is, you're gonna see a word in English and in Portuguese, and probably at the first moment, you're gonna think they have got the same meaning. Oh, this word in English is so similar to that word in Portuguese, so probably the meaning are the same. No, this is a false friend. When you look at the words, you think they have got the same meaning, but actually they haven't got, okay? So think about it. And it's important to say that the beginner students, the beginner English students, don't need to worry about this difference because <laughs> probably if you worry about it, you're gonna freeze at the moment of the speech. Oh my gosh, what is chocolate? Is it chocolate in Portuguese? Is it what I think it is? And what about the other word? Relax, guy. Just take a deep breath. Everything's gonna be alright. So, another important point is, probably you know that in English, actually not only in English, but... Okay, we are talking about English, so yeah. Uh, probably you know that in English, a word has got more than one meaning, you know? One word, three meanings, three different meanings, four different meanings. In this situation, sometimes only one of these meanings is a false friend. So you have to stay tuned, yeah? Because uh, sometimes we as Portuguese speakers and English learners, we think that when we learn something, when we learn the meaning of something, we just think about that only meaning, yeah? And this is not okay because sometimes the words have got more more than one meaning and this is normal okay so sometimes when the word has got more than one meaning probably only one of these meanings uh, only one of them is a false friend and the other ones are not okay so guys talking about it I want to tell you that the false friends at all have two categories okay they have two categories and you have to pay attention now Please, the peer and the possible, yeah? The peer and the possible. So, let's talk about the peer first. The peer false friend is that word that in English has got one meaning and in Portuguese has got a totally, completely, entirely different meaning, okay? So, they are not what you think they are. We have a word in English and we have a word in Portuguese with similar or equal orthography, but their meaning is completely different. This is a pure false friend, okay? For example, the orthography of the word college in English is so similar to colégio in Portuguese. Yeah, so similar, but college is not colégio. 
that's the difference, yeah? So, college, actually, in Portuguese, is faculdade. So, can you see the difference? You think college is colégio, but actually, it's faculdade in English. So, the meaning is totally different, yes? And the other one is prejudice. Sometimes, people tend to think prejudice is like prejuízo in Portuguese, but actually, it's preconceito. So, it's totally different from what you think. Think about it. This is the case of a pure false friend, all right? And now, I want to talk to you about the possible false friend, yeah? So, the possible false friend happens when, pay attention, you have a word in English. This word in English has got three, three different meanings. And only one of these three meanings is like in Portuguese. For example, the word aspect in English. Aspect in English is like... Aspecto in Portuguese. In this case, the orthography is similar. Aspect and aspecto in Portuguese. Aspect in English, aspecto in Portuguese. They are similar. Yeah? Yes, they are. So, okay. This is a possible false friend. Because uh, the meaning of aspect in Portuguese is aspecto, but that is also other meaning like face or lado in Portuguese. So, we have the word aspect in English and three different meanings in Portuguese, all right? So, only one of the three different meanings is like one of the meanings in English. Aspect and aspecto, aspect, lado, face. So, this is a case of a possible false friend, all right? Let me try to tell you the same thing but using different words. I'm trying to tell you guys that a possible false friend is when you have a word in English that is similar to Portuguese and the meaning is really the same. But you have other meanings that aren't the same. Got it? Another great example to make you understand is medicine. Medicine in English is like medicina in Portuguese. It's similar. And it's really the meaning of medicine. Medicina, yes, it's really the meaning of medicine. But not only medicina, medicine in Portuguese is also remédio. So can you see? Medicine is similar to medicina, but medicine is totally different from remédio. Yes, so in this situation, this is a case of a possible false friend. Because we have a word in English with two different meanings in Portuguese. Yes? So guys, caution, caution to avoid some situations like when you try to open the door, you try to push out the door just because it's written push on it, you know? But you know push is not push out, but then you try, you try and you try, so don't do it. You need to understand that push is a false friend, oh gosh, <laughs> yeah? So try to avoid this kind of situation, yes? So guys, you need to stay tuned and for sure it's not possible to learn all the false friends quickly, you know? So, my tip for you now is follow my Instagram because I share English tips over there. This is my Instagram, yeah? You can check the English tips I give you there, the free English tips, yeah? It's important to say. And over there, you can learn some false friends with me, yeah? And of course, trying to decorate all the possible false friends, uh, it's not okay for your English. It does not work, actually. All right, so you have to learn them naturally, naturally, okay? So don't forget to give me a thumbs up in case this video was helpful for you and subscribe to my channel, please. Don't go away, do it. Subscribe to my channel and there are other videos here for you to watch. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Yes, see you on the next video or on my social network. Bye.